Hello, hopefully this video will help you get around on your first few days of school. The entrance gates are marked on these points here. Hang on, this won't do. Hmm. Ah, that's better. On the day, there'll be teachers on the gates to meet you, to point you in the right direction. And then you'll see the sign, you are finally at senior school. So if you're healthy and have ridden your bike in, please get off your bike at the gate and push your bike round to the bike sheds. So Wilden is a really big site and you're going to get lost in your first few days. So let's start the tour in the Piazza. The Piazza is a great place to find friends and have your lunch and it's a really good place to access a lot of the school, such as Dan's Diner which is a little Americana cafe which you can use at break times. You can access Block 2 from the Piazza and in there you can go to the library which is a great place to study or to access books and there's a genius bar there which you can use to access new technology or get help with your computer problems. Block 2 is also home to the art department. If you walk around the outside of Block 2 from the Piazza, you'll get to Block 1, which is a lot of huts which contain modern languages and English. <laughs> I know you've stopped listening. Pay attention. There's a sneaky few huts around the back of it if you keep walking around, OK? Look, it's literally hidden in the trees. OK, let's move on to Block 9 now, which again, you can access from the Piazza, and it's home to media studies, photography, English and science. There are two huts which you might miss, which are also classed as Block 9. If you go straight through the doors and out the other side, you'll find it easily. So the next building we're going to go to is Block 3. There are lots of ways into Block 3, but again, you can access it via the Piazza and there's a staircase at either end of the building. You're most likely to be having your maths lesson in Block 3 and down the other end, your science lessons. And if you need them, you'll be able to find your head of year on the first floor. At the end of block three, you'll find the Wilden Kitchen where you can get some hot food for lunch or some snacks at break time. Next to that, you'll find the school hall where most year groups have their assemblies. Let's talk about PE. So PE, you could be in lots of places across the school. You could be in the sports hall, you could be in the gym, you could be in the mug or the playing field. But usually you would meet in between the leisure centre and the berry by the steps where your teacher will tell you where you're going to be going for the day. In the dark building, you'll find three creative art subjects of music, drama and dance. For these subjects you have to wait outside to be collected by your teacher. And whilst we're at the dark building it's worth noting that the dark centre foyer and the leisure centre foyer is out of bounds to students. Okay so block five has a few entrances but the easiest one to find is one directly opposite the dark centre. In this building you've mainly got humanities which is history, geography and RE. You've also got your technologies including design technology, textiles and food tech. There are some IT classrooms up the stairs halfway down the corridor, which you may miss. Block seven, you can get to it by walking from the dark between block five and block six. In these huts, you'll mainly find RE and you'll find a couple of science classes. In between block six and block seven, you'll find the Wave, which is an awesome space, which has a variety of different uses, but is usually used for seminars, lectures, and special events. Block six is kind of the hub of the school. You can find the first aid room reception and all the admin staff. Between reception and block five, there's an outside door which lets you into the modern languages lessons. In the main part of the building, upstairs you'll find some IT suites. Block six also has some huts around the back which you can find on the map here. Remember, if you get lost, just ask a teacher or you could also ask an older student. Anyone will be happy to help you, especially one of our prefects. You'll be able to recognize a prefect as they will have a different tie. So that's it, thanks for watching.